Hey what's up Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use a simple script to add voice controls to your game. First I'll demonstrate and then I'll jump into the code and show you how it's done. Turn right. Fire. Turn left. Turn left. Fire. Cool. So as you can see it works pretty well. It doesn't always catch everything I say but that time it worked out great. Now let me jump in and show you what we need to do. Uh, the first thing you need is to go into the build settings, so or here, player settings. So go to build settings and just hit player. And then over here on the Windows tab, you need to make sure that the microphone capability is enabled. This will allow it to listen in and uh, actually take the commands. And I do have this in PC mode, so we don't have to switch over to Universal Windows. Now, the code is pretty simple. Let me open it up and let's take a quick look up here at the top so I've got a couple of serialized fields here this is just for the cannonball so that I can spawn a cannonball and shoot it off it's just a spear with a rigid body and then I have another serialized field for the point where I want to launch the cannonball from and this is just a child inside the uh, right here it's just a child of the cannon I just like to use this as a simple way to determine where the cannonball is going to fire from so there it is it's just if I turn it on the renderer you can see where it's at um, Let's jump back over to the code again and see how the actual voice recognition works. So we have a dictionary here of string and action. And this is going to align our keywords to different methods that we'll call. And then we have a keyword recognizer. This is the component that's doing all of the heavy lifting. So in our start, we're calling, uh, we're adding a couple entries to our dictionary. So we have a fire one, turn right and turn left. And each of these like I said, just links to an action, which is just a method in here. So fire instantiates a cannonball at the fire point, adds some force in the forward direction, and writes out boom to the log. Uh, turn right and turn left. Just call transform.rotate and turn it left or right. And then um, once we have these set up, we have these uh, the dictionary ready, we instantiate the new keyword recognizer, and we need to pass in all of the actions as an array of strings. So we pass in all of these keywords as an array and then we register for the on phrase recognized event. And then when we get a phrase that's recognized, it just calls this, this method right here. We log out the keyword just so we can see what it is. And then we just call invoke on whatever action is in this dictionary. So it's just a nice simple way of setting up a bunch of different keywords and not having any switch statements or if statements we just invoke the action for the keyword uh, the only other thing that you need is to make sure that you call keyword recognizer dot start when you're done setting it up and then it'll all just work you can launch your cannonballs turn things or use this for any other kind of game so i hope this helps if you have questions feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on unity3d.college thanks for watching don't forget to like and hit subscribe